All you model railway people, uh, look away now. Um, if anybody knows you're interested in model railways, you get asked various uh, things. And uh, one of the things I've been asked is about getting hold of a um, little train to go round a Christmas tree. Now, this is a popular thing in America, and I've just been down to the um, garden centre and I bought this for £16.99. Uh, it's uh, a little bit difficult to get the scale of it. If I put one of my slippers on, then you can see it's not very big. For those model, railway modelers, I would guess it's approximately uh, O, O gauge size-ish. Uh, but that's not important. As I say, uh, this idea of a little train running around the Christmas tree is popular in America. If you have a big enough space, then the thing to do is get the LGB garden railway stuff. Uh, that's if you've got a big room. Um, but for people without a bigger room, I found it difficult to find a Hornby, or should I say, a standard double O gauge system that would run round a small enough circle. That was a bit of a problem. So, popular in America, so all this stuff will be made in China, but it will be USA outline in terms of um, any depiction. You're unlikely to find anything which is uh, British outline uh, in terms of the style of the thing at all. Uh, so what you get are Christmassy trains playing Christmassy music, and the best place to go looking for them, if you did want it, is your local garden centre. They seem to be the places with the uh, Christmas uh, novelty items such as this. And when we open the box, you see you've got something that is meant to represent a loco, something that's meant to represent the uh, tender for the loco. They get described variously on the packets. Uh, strange little um, translations you get and then a, uh, a box car uh, and in this case of this train there isn't any um, caboose as you would call as they you would call it if you call it by its American uh, normal culture whatever and it takes four AA batteries it's just as you would expect cheap plastic uh, but um, and there we are, have by the friction on those wheels a couple of driven wheels there uh, on this thing there'll be some sort of motor in there I'll put the batteries in and uh, let's see what novelty sounds it makes because I'm, I'd be surprised if it doesn't make a sound they all seem to make some sort of play some sort of tune. The track is very cheap, plasticky stuff. Uh, it provides some sort of ridge rail to stop the loco wandering off. Uh, clipping together is a bit uh, tricky. I think you've got to have it in the place where you want want it. You wouldn't be able to pick it up and move it. Uh, but it does kind of latch together after a fashion um, and I'm just about to make the complete circle. The essential thing that you need which is not supplied uh, is a cross point screwdriver or Phillips screwdriver and four AA batteries. Uh, it does tell you on the box that you need the four AA batteries. It doesn't actually tell you that it's a uh, a battery box secured with cross point or Phillips screw. Just have, just have a look, see if it uh, would take a, a, a flat bladed screwdriver. It doesn't really matter, you can jam the corner of uh, a screwdriver, point for knife. Uh, don't, not for children. You, a cross point screwdriver is a thing to do, but you know, if you're desperate, you will find some way of opening that. And uh, you'll see a roll of white stuff. Uh, 
I guess that's fairly essential. Again, uh, this roll of uh, this is sold along with the Christmassy stuff, but it looks very similar to the fleece material. It's marketed as something for uh, Christmas, uh, but they also sell fleece. And if you're a gardener, uh, you might prefer to buy fleece because you know it's going to protect your plants and you can use it for something else afterwards. But there we are. And it's 90 centimetres wide is this white material. And so the circular track just about fits into the 90 centimetres of the roll of white fleecy material. Uh, and let's see what happens when I switch it on. The only control I can see on it is a little slide on off switch on the side there. Well there is a light on the front. I have no idea what sort of condition the batteries are in to put into it. So a whistle, something that's a little bit like a steam engine going. The uh, a bell. And I'll just stop it, just see, because I think there's a separate startup type sound on it when it started up. Uh, but I might have to uh, find some fresh batteries for it. I didn't want to open a, a fresh pack, maybe I should have done. So start up. Let's make sure it's properly located on the track. Yeah, is everything running on the track properly? Here we go. So it starts with three whistles. You've got the steam sound. About six bells, a red light on the front. And don't, uh, please don't assume this slow running is normal. One, two, three whistles. Chuff, chuff sound. Six bells. Well, there it is. That's what you get. You get this simple, rather primitive loco, but it will go chugging round your Christmas tree. And it is a little bit of animation. Uh, this particular layout uh, just has. Um, some are very Christmassy, is what I was going to say. And this one, when I say layout, it's not layout, is it? It has Merry Christmas written on the tender for the loco, uh, and then some Christmas bauble type decorations on the uh, carriage there. Sorry, I was looking at it rather than pointing the camera at it. Okay, hope that was of interest. Uh, it's all going to be boxed up now and taken round to a friend's house. Uh, where it's going to be installed around the Christmas tree. And it's about the right diameter, I think, for UK households to go around UK uh, Christmas trees, uh, which is one of the considerations. Let me just say something else uh, while I've got this running, which is at the garden centre, they did have an LGB train running around that part of their system. They've been using that same loco for three years and it starts running uh, from October so it runs constantly throughout um, all of November and most of de December uh, and apart from lubrication uh, they've not had any trouble with it so that is a testament to the quality of LGB if you really wanted something that was going to last uh, there it is running it in, let's call it, a commercial environment. Do not expect anything like that from this sort of toy. It, you know, maybe will last a couple of years. 
and through a couple of sets of batteries. But certainly if you wanted something reliable then uh, you would have to start looking for something like the LGB for the large scale uh, or even Backman, Hornby and the other manufacturers uh, if you uh, and go for down to double O scale. There is something that Batman do which is ON30 and you can get some sound locos in ON30 that runs on double O track and will negotiate tight curves and uh, if you wanted quality then that might be something to look at and those locos come in at uh, are around the 150 200 pound mark it's uh and if you only have two trucks uh for two three hundred pounds if you get something this is different just to remind you 17 pounds and you also get some card stand-up christmas scenes to go with it that i'm sorry about the lighting i'm shooting against the outside light is my Backman uh, Christmas garden scale. I'll pick up the other thing, I'll show it. So it's LGB size, LGB is a manufacturer. Uh, that's made by Backman for the American market and that's their Christmas train and that's the little £16 outfit that I've just got. And just so that you can recall, uh, if I flash around the room and the light levels aren't too low, whoa, that's what I've done to it. And there are videos on here of, uh, I got two of them and I've hacked one about. But that's just uh, not an alternative, they're in a different class.